Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I'm going a little over the top again this week and I'm doing a Lord Fawn jungle themed week. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so I have pre-cut a lot of stuff for this one because this is going to be one of those over the top ones because I feel like it. So I've got a bunch of um, little Lawn Fawn critters here that I have stamped and coloured. These come from Love Your Bunches, uh, Two Can Do It and Elfie Selfie. And I'll point out which ones are which as I put them on the, on the um, card. On the week. Uh, I also have in here, I have pre-cut a bunch of other bits. So I have... Um, Four of the Slimline Tropical Leaves border. I've got a bunch of the Tropical Leaves and I've also got a bunch of the Tropical Vines. And I'm going to use all of these to kind of make my week come together. So I've sort of got all of that up at the top. But before I do any of the sticking, I want to do a background. So I'm going to have these Tropical Leaves all over the back of this. Now what I'm going to do first, because I always forget to do it, so I'm going to try and remember this time, is I'm going to white out all of the days and I'm going to white out August at the top. I have found that the ink does sit reasonably well over this, or when I use Oxide it sits reasonably well over this. Um, I probably will use stickers as well, so it's not such a huge big deal if there's a little bit of coverage there. I'll just take off all of my post-its. <clears throat> I've still got a bit of a crackly throat so excuse me if it goes a little icky. Okay so when it comes to the stencil the problem that I'm going to have is that the stencil itself is obviously too small not too small but isn't going to cover the whole of my page. So what I'm going to do is pull this to the side. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to pull it right to the side and I'm going to put leaves down this side to kind of cover or to hide the fact that it's there. And I'm going to just work out, I'm going to use these leaves on the bottom. So I'm just going to work out where they're going to sit. I think I want that one to sit there and then those ones to sit there. So for that reason, I can bring this up a little bit. I can have it sitting sort of about there and that will hide it. So we'll go there and there. I need to get my station out in a sec. Just for now, I'm just gonna tack that down with just a little bit of washi tape. Go. And I'll grab my station in while I'm here. So we'll put all of the ink down and we'll do two layers. So I'm quite happy to do all greens because I'm sort of going with that green theme at the moment. What I do want to do though is I want to make sure that I've masked off the top and the bottom so they don't accidentally go too far down. Not worried so much about the top because I think I'll probably end up inking that anyway or finding a way to do something with the top. I haven't quite worked the top out yet. So I'll give this a try. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. I'm going to use Twisted Citron and kind of tossing up between Lucky Clover and Mowed Lawn. I like the way that Mowed Lawn and Twisted Citron work, but I do want something dark. So yeah, we're going to go Lucky Clover. So I'm going to put Twisted Citron sort of down first and do that across all of the, the leaves. And then I'm going to come back in with Lucky Clover over the top. I'm just going to show you quickly because I'm going to do this whole thing really quick. I'm going to come in and do Lucky Clover sort of over the top so it's going to have a bit of an ombre kind of look but it's going to have a light and dark and I might leave some of the some of the leaves a little bit lighter some of them a little bit darker but I'm going to go ahead and do both 
both of these stencils because it's a two-part stencil and I'll be right back <coughs> I, I was happy when I pulled this off before I'm hoping that when I pull this off again I still love it so fingers crossed I am just gonna grab out really quickly my <clears throat> cleaning cloth and just give this a wipe over just being really careful with the some of the frongs because they are a little delicate I don't want to break my stencil not yet anyway I've only just got it oh that looks so cool now I did have, <laughs> I did have thoughts of doing like a flip somehow on this. I may still do that. I'll come back and add that later if I want to. All right, so I'm gonna work on putting the background all together first and then I'm gonna come back and kind of do the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Do the other side. I knew I was getting there. Um, so I'm just gonna put this I want the, the light green one and I'm just going to use that washi tape again just to hold this still for a sec because I just need to see if that's going to sit and hide the fact that there's a bit of a line and it, it is almost it is almost so go like that I've just moved this over just a little bit because it's, it's obviously a movable thing there's lots here So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab that tape back in, and I'm just going to, just going to, I'm a little nervous to do this if I'm being honest. I just want to put a little bit of ink, like a little line of it, just underneath the green, just to try and pull it down a little bit. And I'm sure this is going to end up looking weird. I'm just using what's already on my brush and what's on my mat here. It'll look weird, I'm sure of it, but I think it'll hide once I sort of put the, the grass on the background. So when it comes to the grass, I'm going to put the green, the light green right down there along my line, and then I'm going to offset the dark one on the other side, so it'll sit like that. Okay, so I'm gonna stick that down. I'm gonna use blue tape for this. You could, of course, use whatever you have. Grabbing a bit of scrap paper just to protect my surface. Whoops. Like I said, following that line there. I think that's okay. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of green just in where I can see a hole and then when I come over with the top one here yeah that'll be fine yes I know this is over the top but I haven't done an over the top one for a little while so it's about time plus I love these jungle themed stamp sets they're so cool so I'm just offsetting this so it sits so it hides all of those and then I can just go in with my scissors and cut off the excess I swear I had my scissors out I don't know where they are we under here somewhere. Now I'm also going really quickly to punch where that hole is. I did get most of it not covering, not being covered by a hole, not covering the hole, but and actually that one's not going to work. But I just want to catch the rest of it now before I forget. So there's the beginning of this. I'm just moving my station out of the way. What I'm confused about is what I do at the top. So I know I want to come down the side and kind of hide. This is where I'll punch more holes and because these are all holy bits anyway. 
it should work fine and it'll disguise the fact that there's something wrong here. But I'm actually considering, considering making this all green in the background. So taping off here. And the good thing is I'm making the mistakes on this side. And then in a minute when I do the other side, it'll be all fine. So I didn't do that straight at all. So I'm sort of following, not sort of, I am following where that stencil line was. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to grab some more of the Twisted Citron. I'm going to bring in some Lucky Clover in a second as well and just go up the side. When I do this the next time, I won't mask off, oh, I'll, I'll deliberately bring the ink all the way over so it will end up working all together. We'll get just a little bit of the Lucky Clover and just sort of bring that into bits just so it kind of looks green off to the side and if you sort of you want to think of the the logic perhaps it's a big tree oh no I'm, I'm I, I could I could grab my birch tree dies and have that sitting up the side I just feel like it's gonna make it too bulky when you put in all the cardstock of these as well so I'm not gonna do that but that is an idea okay so for the top bit I'm going to give it this sort of greenery look behind it as well. So I'm all over the top with the Twisted Citron. And then I'm going to put the Lucky Clover in some spots as well. It doesn't matter if it goes a little bit over the line because I reckon I'll be able to make it look like a tree kind of thing in a minute. In fact, you know what? We kind of want it to come down just a little bit, not too much, but just so it's a bit, see that side's okay, but the top we sort of want to be a bit more tree-like. And I'll just bring in some Lucky Clover on the top. Looks messy now. Just blend it. And it'll get me that two-toned look that I'm looking for. Do I love it? No. Do I hate it? No. It's somewhere in the it's somewhere in the middle. So then on the top, <coughs> I know I want to put these little vines because I want to have some of my monkeys hanging from the vines. So if I have that one hanging there like that, that one hanging sort of like that, it kind of disguises the mess. Kind of, not completely, but I think that still looks cool. Love that background. It's so cool. So I'm just going to do tape on these as well. We'll start with the dark one. Just being careful as I'm putting the tape on so that I don't tear this. Same thing when I'm pulling it up. side. I'm now going to do something very similar to the other side. So, scrap paper goes away and I'll come back and obviously put leaves on the other side in a second. So we'll do all that together. So bring the station back in. Start off with that first stencil. Now I'm just using the other one to line up sort of where it goes just so I've got a rough idea. I'm going to do the exact same thing I just did. I'm going to do it all sped up. Um, so when I come back, you'll have the bottom on and the top on. And it will be all ready to go for the next bit. Oh, actually, before I do. So the grass is going to sit here. So the lines are still there, obviously. But I'm, I'm still going to use them as lines. Actually, I might need to rule some back in. Because it is awfully not quite there. So I want to have like a little pop-up. And I want to have that in when I um, when I actually do the stenciling so that it gets all the stencils and it lines right up. So I'm going to cut this to be about six, no, five and a half centimetres wide. And then I'm just going to fold it where I'm happy and then I'll cut off some excess in a second green on there but that's okay. Now I'm probably going to cut this just a little bit thinner it just doesn't quite 
big to me at the width it is. So it's going to be about five. There we go. So I've got my little flip up. I'm going to have that sort of sit where Sunday would sit, if you sort of think of it that way. And it's going to be over a couple of the days. I'm going to stick that down. I am sticking it down to be permanent. But if I need to pull that up, I know I can. I'm trying to make that straight. Not doing a very good job. And I'm just going to tack it down just with a tinsy little bit of those glue dots. And that should hold it still while I stencil over the top. All right, now I'm going to do all the inking and I'll be right back. Wicked. I've got green everywhere. <laughs> oh dear. Um, this is what I love about oxides. They're reasonably easy to clean up. So I'm just going to grab a spray bottle of water and spray my fingers. I should be able to wipe most of that off just on a cloth. Yeah, a fair chunk of it. Uh, so I just put my misty down on top of those vines just to hope, help them sit still. Um, I did also rub out the glue that was on the pop-up here so that it didn't get greened while I was doing that. Um, and thankfully it's, it's worked out pretty well. All right, so I'm gonna cut off the excess here. I meant to do that, but I forgot, so it's okay. Don't, I don't like the top, if I'm being honest, I don't like it, but I'm hoping when I put the monkeys in, oh, I think it's just that it's a bit too um, stark. I'm just coming back in here, just trying to just pull that back a little bit. I should have done the whole background a colour first, but anyway. I'm sure I could fix it, but I, I'm very, not very happy, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I can live with that. So for the date covers, I'm going to use some of my Barney and Moon green ones. I think this green is a really good match for all the others. Just a side note that the, the cardstock I used for all of this is the dark green is Kayser Craft. The light green, I think it's a, um, I think it was like a, a group from Kmart. I'm not 100% sure on exactly sort of where that came from, but it was just normal sort of cardstock. So I'm just having a look at the side here and if I put, I definitely want to put some of these leaves on here. So if I just alternate between the light green and the dark green coming down the side. So just having a look at these borders and just thinking could I use them somewhere to kind of hide some of these top bits because I don't mind picking things up and getting underneath them. Just grabbing my tweezers. If I come in like that, 
and then cut off the excess. It'll just look like it's a, a little bush hanging in on the side. I hope. I might just pull it up a little so it sits about there. It's actually got a bit of tape on it already, so it's actually sticky. I have this excess, so I might as well give it a try. And then what I thought I'd do is on that top bit, I'll put in um, like a an August in the corner because I have one in green anyway. So I think that'll work. And then I'm going to do something similar over this side. I'm going to grab this bit. I'm going to do that really quick. I'm also then going to stick all of these leaves on the side and I'll be right back. top again but I don't care this is awesome this is awesome all right so I'm putting in the date covers I'm just having a look here and sort of thinking about where I want to put them I don't mind if they're in weird places but I think I kind of still like them in their regular spot and all I'm gonna do so this one for example the Monday I'm gonna pick the vine up and put the vine down over the top so it still kind of looks like it's part of it kind of um, and then I'll do the same thing with the others so I'm just gonna stick these down put the dates in and I'll be back everything else in let's get some extra color in here because at the moment it does look very green doesn't it um, so I have got a bunch I did actually stamp and color a bunch of leaves thinking I'd need some I may not need them now I don't think um, but I do have some branches and some bits and pieces here that I want to put in so this is where I'm gonna add some color I know I know I want a monkey swinging from a vine on either side because I have two monkeys here I'm gonna have this is why I love these monkeys they're so cool and this is where as soon as I saw this vine I'm like yeah that's what I want to use that vine for I want to stick my monkey hanging from that how cute and we'll do the same thing with this side so I'm just grabbing it underneath with my tweezers I know I don't have to, I know that would be fine, but I just, I think that looks so cool. I'm just gonna sort of place these for a minute and then work out where I wanna put, like then stick them all down later. So I've got my little elephant down here. I wanna put this jaguar down in the grass somehow. This is deliberately why I didn't stick all of it down, because I knew I wanted to play a little bit so I've got Mr. Jaguar that I think he needs to move over this does still need to function as a plan a week I know you're all looking at it going um, how are you ever going to use that trust me I will but I love playing with it like this I, I love turning my planner into something else and just making it something else I just I love doing it it's just a lot of fun So when I cut coloured these, I deliberately did some each way. That one's got the shadow at the top. So I have one there, one there. And I've got 
some little ones as well. Because branches can live lower down as well, can't they? So we'll have that one there. I'm a little worried about that. I think it might be too plain on the inside. So I'm just sort of having a... I want. I, I deliberately wanted it to be so. I didn't. I, I wanted it to be a little bit able to be written in. But now I'm looking at it. I'm thinking, no, that's a little bit too much. So still have a bunch of these leaves left over. I'm just gonna put those up there. We may or may not use them. I'm just gonna fold this bit of paper over masking this to a certain extent just so I can't get any ink anywhere else and just using what's on my brush I'm not gonna get any more I just want to just give it a bit of color it may end up looking a bit too blotchy so I might need to put just a little bit more ink on here we'll see I really should have thought of that before I did this but I didn't and on the inside here I'm actually gonna stick on that other green sticker and that's going to be my happy mail list and I'll grab a happy mail sticker in just to say that's better it's not quite so stark so I'm going to put the tree in here we have another jaguar between my Tuesday and my Wednesday on the tree it actually looks really cute there um, I have some toucans that can fly around the place I have another toucan here that's going to have his own little branch just there. I think I want to put the monkey. I kind of want to have him here, but he kind of looks like he's flying or floating in the middle of nowhere, which that's not what I want. I've got a little lizard. What if I do move this monkey? Where are my tweezers? Move this monkey off. Put this monkey here instead. So he's still a monkey that's hanging upside down. He's just a if I had him curling up like that, he kind of just looks like he's in a different position. And then this monkey will have hanging from the tree. <laughs> so cute. And if I have that sitting there like that, when you flip this open, that'll still work. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and stick all of these down. I'm going to use blue tape for 90% of these. I do also have some flowers and a couple of butterflies. I have some leaves. I don't think I need any more leaves. I think I'll save those. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and stick all of these down and I'll be right back. need to cut off a little bit of the excesses off the side and then the last thing I need to do before I not before I do the last thing but I just need to also um, go back in and just punch some of these holes because when I covered the I did do my best when I did this to keep the holes uncovered or to put them where there were already holes in the leaves so they didn't become too obvious but honestly that's worked out really well. I actually really love this and I'm not, you don't notice, you do notice the top if you're looking for it, ow, but I don't think, I think there's enough other stuff going on that you really don't see it as much as I thought I would and even then I don't think you sort of oh I've forgotten to do some butterflies and flowers I forgot I needed some more color and so that can go over here last couple of ones um, I'll keep talking while I'm doing it though um, I think there's enough other stuff going on that you don't notice 
the couple of little bits of mistakes. Where did it go? Sometimes I feel like I need an extra, an extra hand just to hold the thing that I need so that I don't lose it. Butterfly. And I did deliberately put in some flowers because I wanted to have some colour. And this is where I can maybe hide some of the not so great blends. I can kind of put these around the place. I want to put that. That's just cute. The very last thing I just need to do is just add couple of white highlights and some cheeks because I forgot to do that to some of my critters so I colored all of these in with Copics um, that's just my preferred way to color I, I can color using other mediums I just prefer Copics I just think they're much easier I'm just using R20 just to put some cheeks on all the critters and then I'm just coming in with my white jelly roll this is my 0.8 and just putting a white highlight or a few white highlights on my critters that's all in we're nearly done we're so close to being done I just need to chuck in a couple of, of icons the same way I would any other planner week this doesn't change, but the way I do this doesn't change. So I don't need my swimming lessons, I don't need my Zoom meetings, I do need daycare. So daycare is going to go Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. No, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday. Again, another way to kind of cover up that mess, there'll be some writing there eventually. And then just need to put in a couple of bits so I just need a green box on Wednesday this is an old labeled with love kit that I'm still trying to use up I'm just gonna stick that in here and I want the frongs owl <laughs> to stab myself with my tweezers but where these tweezers are very sharp um, to come in over the top there I'm just grabbing two of these green ones from these ones are sweet lilac designs, I think. Put that one there. And again, I'll move the frog over the top. I just need to check what day the Paralympics start because I thought it was Tuesday, but maybe it's Wednesday. Start on Tuesday. So I'm going to put two things on Tuesday, two of these. We'll put one box on top of the other. And again, just move the frog. I'm just going to write those in. So, where did my pen go? So Charlotte's 24 weeks on Tuesday. And the only thing I need to put on here other than that, just remember I do have a Zoom meeting. These are funny because they're gonna get very close together on Tuesday, but that's alright. On Wednesday, sorry, but that's okay. So I have a Zoom meeting on Wednesday, but for now I'm just going to have that there and leave it. All right, that's my over-the-top, crazy jungle week. Someone had asked me a long time ago to do like an extreme flipper, and that was what I was thinking with this, but it became a little bit difficult with the stencils and, and the bits and pieces, so I've left that one off. I will still consider doing an extreme flipper week if that was you that suggested it. I do read your suggestions and I will do them, but someone else also asked for a jungle theme um, and I love this. I, I really do. I, when I was doing the stencils, I didn't think it was going to work. I think it was going to be a bit over the top and a bit too crazy and it is. It's definitely a bit too over the top and a bit too crazy, but I love it and I love doing these weeks. They're just a lot of fun. So let me know what you think down below or of course you can find me on any of my socials. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome rest of your week and I will catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles!